On your first day, it's good to start your ring road journey in Reykjavik. This gives you a day to recover from jet lag, buy that item you forgot to pack, and visit some of Reykjavik's highlights. On our second day, we visited the Helles Heidi power station to see how Iceland harnesses the volcanic hot water under its crust. Geothermal energy provides about 30% of Iceland's energy and 90% of Icelandic households are heated with geothermal water. Located in Hela are 12 ancient man-made caves. These mysterious caves are believed to have been made by Irish monks who predated the arrival of the Vikings. However, Icelandic historians do not recognize any settlers prior to the Vikings. This is one of the most visited glaciers in the southern region. It is an outlet glacier which can be easily accessed. This active lighthouse was built in 1927 and marks the southernmost point of mainland Iceland.
The Yoda Cave is a must-see in Iceland. This cave appears in the Star Wars movie Rogue One because from the inside you can clearly see a visible outline of Yoda. Jokul Sarlan is a glacial lagoon filled with incredible floating icebergs which have broken off and are drifting to sea. The deep blue color of the lagoon is due to a mixture of seawater and fresh water. In the shadow of the Vesterhorn Mountain can be found an abandoned Viking village film set. Built using driftwood, the village provides a glimpse into what life may have been like in early Icelandic times. This is Europe's most powerful waterfall. Dedefoss is part of the Diamond Circle, Northern Iceland's version of the Golden Circle.
This geothermal area is not far from Lake Myvetten. Features include colorful sulfurous mud springs, steam vents, cracked mud, and fumaroles. Located on the shore of Myvetten Lake, the pseudo craters were formed by steam explosions when hot lava flowed into the lake. This beautiful turf church in North Iceland is considered to be one of the most accurate and beautiful relics of old Icelandic architecture. The church was built in 1834, but there has been a church on the site since the adoption of Christianity in the year 1000 AD. Seating in the earlier times had men on one side of the aisle and women on the other. 
The three-part Danish altar piece dates back to 1616 and depicts the Last Supper, the Crucifixion, and the Resurrection. If you enjoyed this video, check out our many travel videos from all over Europe, the United States, Australia, Russia, and the Far East. And be sure to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new and fun videos to watch.